everybody how are you all doing in today's video i will be sharing with you this yummy breakfast idea it is so delicious so healthy so tasty and actually good for you hello again let's go grab the ingredients i'm going to Put the ingredients in the description box below so you can check that out but while we do that why don't I introduce myself if this is your first time coming across my channel hello and welcome I'm always so happy to have you here and what I do here is share healthy recipes such as this one my passion is wellness and I have a mission to create awareness for wellness among women especially women of african descent so if this is the type of content that excites you i hope you consider subscribing and after that clicking on the notification bell as well and to you all my returning subscribers notification gang members of the tribe i'm always so so grateful for your encouragement and your support thank you for stopping by today now let's get cooking let me introduce you to the ingredients so this recipe is two parts first we make the wraps with plantain flour and then we make the filling all right so for the wrap you're gonna need one quarter cup of plantain flour and this is the plantain flour made out of 100 percent green plantains i got this one from amazon so you can see green plantains are like gluten-free right they are gluten-free and here's a nutrition fact you should always take the time to know your food all right so that one quarter cup is only 90 calories with about 26 grams of carbs so it's not too bad at all okay so one quarter cup and then I have three eggs here but for the wrap i'm going to use one egg and then the filling i will use the two eggs for the filling for the wrap still i need some milk i have half a cup but i'm gonna see how that goes you can add more or less depending on how your butter comes together in here is salt which you just need a pinch of salt and here is baking powder we're gonna need a pinch of baking powder so no sugar in our wrap and then for the filling here I have some greens, a handful. Here's kale, but you can replace that with spinach or amaranth or whatever greens that you like. And then some tomatoes. That's all I'm gonna be using in my filling. Kale, tomatoes, and then two of the eggs, all right? And then over here I have butter, which I'm gonna use to make the wraps with, to fry the wraps in some butter for flavor, but you can replace that with oil. Okay, so here's the bowl that I'm going to use to make the butter in, whisk, and then the pan to cook the wraps in and then the filling in. So that's all you need. Now let's get cooking. Start by warming up the pan, medium heat here. And then in my bowl, I'm going to crack the egg for the butter. Whisk that up. Okay. Now I'm going to add the milk. I didn't add all of it. We'll see how it goes. If it needs more milk, I'll add. So that was half a cup, but I just added maybe a little over a quarter just to see how that goes and then a pinch of salt which is about maybe an eighth of a teaspoon pinch of salt there a pinch of baking powder you can measure this if you want maybe about an eighth i'm gonna add that baking powder too yeah this is one eighth of a teaspoon just a little i added that to the flour here okay to our plantain flour that's all you need for the butter guys okay. now i'm gonna add the flour to my egg and milk mixture slowly mix that in mix 
a while. Okay, so one quarter cup of milk could have been okay. I think this is a little too runny. If you want the wrap thicker, you can add a little more flour. Yeah, I think I'm gonna add a little more flour. It's a little too runny for me. So, the thing with cooking is you can always adjust, all right? We'll check the description box for the complete recipe. So I'm gonna end up now with one third of a cup of the plantain flour. Voila, this is more like it. Always adjust as you go. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. Yep, our butter is ready. I'll show you again how it looks like. So, okay, we are ready to fry our wraps all right our pan is hot now it's on medium heat i'm gonna use this other pan over here to make my filling in then you need a spatula such as this one or anything to use all right so this is what i'm gonna do grab my butter like this just lightly oil my pan Now, let that cook, okay? While that cooks, I'm gonna start working on the filling. My tomatoes. You know I always serve you a recipe with a side of education because I believe when you know better, you do better. So let's find out more about the mighty tomato. Tomato is loaded with health promoting compounds. Lycopene is the main one. While all of the tomato contains lycopene, the skin of the tomato contains three to five times more lycopene than the flesh of the tomato. And cooking your tomato also makes that lycopene more bioavailable. The point is, guys, ladies, cook your tomatoes with the skin on. Do not peel your tomatoes, and tomatoes are better to the body when cooked. Now, let's take a peek here. Nice and golden. Cook my kale in here like you could put it. Again, mamas, for my filling, I used kale and tomatoes because that's what I had on hand. Feel free to tweak this according to what is readily available to you. Just make sure that it is the most nutritious, okay? You can always add onions or bell peppers or use spinach or any other greens. All we're trying to do is have some protein and vegetables. So however way that you used to get there, that is okay and season according to your taste. Now, this recipe makes three perfect portions, okay? I'm gonna end up with three wraps there, three portions. Remember, there were three eggs. And you, as you can see, there's barely any oil in that filling that I'm making there. 
all right so we're trying to keep the calories low and maximize nutrients while using locally available ingredients i am here in houston and i bought the plantain flour from amazon but wherever you are if you're in africa it's so easy to make plantain flour or to buy it from the market my hope is you will look for that plantain flour and try interpreting this recipe your way we have to look for different ways of using what is readily available to us to nourish our bodies in another episode i'm gonna try to make plantain flour myself shouldn't be that difficult now we're gonna crack our eggs with a filling two eggs two pinches of salt Hello again. I hope you're enjoying this recipe and the bits of education that I am serving you. Please do me a favor and click on that like button. That will mean a lot to me. Leave me a word of encouragement in the comment section below. I appreciate your support so much. And if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, I hope you consider doing so. Thank you. gonna pour in the eggs we're just gonna scramble it and if you're wondering about eggs if they are good for you if you should be including eggs in your diet I say yes and here's why they are an inexpensive source of high quality protein it contains all the essential amino acids which means that the amino acids that your body cannot make as well in the right proportions okay amino acids are the building blocks of proteins so the perfect portion i say one to two eggs a large egg serves about 75 70 to 75 calories all right so you can enjoy a two egg omelet or if you want one egg and, and, and then add egg whites okay so do enjoy eggs yes they have cholesterol but it is saturated fat and not cholesterol that has um, effect on your blood cholesterol okay so enjoy your eggs you're welcome now it's time to assemble our wraps okay i'm gonna grab a portion of our filling right here And then grab the perfect size of the avocado. Okay, perfect portion. Just a little avocado to add some of that yumminess. Then we're gonna fold this over. And there you go. One. Should have put this pretty side on the outside. Oh well, this is the prettiest one. This is so good. This is so good. I am so proud of myself for coming up with this meal idea. All right, I came up with that recipe. I did. I hope you'd consider trying this, guys. It is so filling, so nutritious. The and one. the beauty about this is, you know, even people in Cameroon or in Africa, they can make this. They have plantain. And we out here, if we don't have time to make the plantain flour, it's available on Amazon. All right. Check the links in the description box on how you can get uh, the plantain flour. But in another episode, I'm going to show you how you can make your own plantain flour. Okay. So it's a wrap, pun intended. It's a wrap for this it, recipe. Guys. I'm going to go sit down now and enjoy this. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you give it a try. Let me know in the comment section if you do. I'm going to go enjoy my breakfast now. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you make the rest of your day amazing. 
give this recipe a thumbs up please it's important for me also subscribe if you have not yet done so continue to love and care for that one and only you there ever will be and eat something healthy for me today until next time guys bye